Hey, Mike with Mike's Backs, and today I am reviewing the Big Jack 2.0 by name brand Back Company. So this is the that that clone variant R carpet, and this may have been the first ACL stamp bag that came out with this material. In fact, it was the first one that I received with it. But for some reason, I kind of overlooked the bag, right? It, it, and, and honestly, I, I, I mentioned, I guess, a lot of you have probably never heard of name brand Back Company because they're not. They're not a name brand bag company, right? Which is ironic, the name. I mean, maybe that's where it came from. I don't know. And, and so I got the bags. And then next thing you know, other companies started coming out with, with other bags, the same material. I started reviewing them first. And I, these just kind of got overlooked. I put aside, they got overlooked. A lot of you kept asking about me, about these bags. And I was like, yeah, I got them. I'm going to review them. For whatever reason, I just never did. And so, you know, recently I, I finally pulled them out, broke them in, started throwing them in, break them in and so forth. And I really was surprised and impressed with this bag, and I regret not reviewing it sooner. So anyway, here it is. Here's a review on the Big Jack 2.0. Let's go ahead and dive in, and, and we'll break this bag down. Uh, Material-wise, again, the slow side is that uh, variant clone carpet, the R carpet. It's not the same as the Viper R. It's the same carpet you find on on the uh, Swag Bags Kaboom, the B3 Coyote, the Southwest Hefe, the X-Level Lights Out. Um, I, I've reviewed quite a few bags that have material, wonderful material. It's really a five-speed material. It plays pretty true and consistent in most board conditions, which which one reason why I like it. It doesn't fluctuate a lot. So you got a five-speed on the slow side. Fast side, this is a unique material that I don't know if I've seen on any other bag. I'm not real familiar with name brand bag companies' bags, uh, and I apologize for that. I don't want to speculate. I have a set of Merlins. I'm pretty sure it's the same fast side on the Merlins as the Big Jack 2.0. It, they call it an eight-speed. Which I, I, it's it's fast. It, maybe maybe I'm okay with an eight. I feel like it played more like an eight and a half, maybe a nine. But they call it eight, so I'm gonna stick with the eight because they've spent more time this back than I have. So looking at a five eight speed, if I were to give you an idea, I felt it played a lot like that game changer surefire fast. So not the same material, but it kind of feels a little bit like it, and it plays a little like it. So that gives you an idea of what you're looking at here on the fast side. Uh, these bags are ACL stamp for 2023. These are the ACL comp stamp, which I, I need to go more in depth at some videos on point in time. But the comp stamp, honestly, if you're not a pro, which I'm guessing if you're watching my video, you're probably not a pro, that the comp stamp is going to play in any ACL event you need to. The one thing I want to mention on this is they have they have the, the name brand company has big jacks, not the two point, they have regular big jacks. The big jacks are ACL rec stamped which are for recreational use. So if you go to a regional or, or, or some kind of ACL uh, tournament, you're going to need at least a comp stamp. The rec stamp is not going to be playable. So I want to make sure you're clear. If you're, if you're looking at these bags, make sure you're grabbing the 2.0 if you're looking to play in an ACL competition. If you're just playing backyard or whatever, the rec stamps are fine. But the Big Jack, is a little, I think it has a different fast side material. I'm not sure what else is different on it. But the Big Jack 2.0 is ACL comp stamp, which for... All of us, 99.9% .9 of us, if you're not a pro, you can throw it in any ACL event. Even pros can throw them in non-pro-only events. Anyway, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll go some point time, I'll go into more depth. Anyway, comp stamp, perfectly fine for all of us. Uh, the, the, the template on this is a medium template right down the middle. Really nice template on that. The fill is a bead fill. It's I think it's 100% bead fill as far as I can tell in there, which gives the bag a lot of movement, very active. I really like it. It's a small bead, so it's not those big clumpy beads. When you, when you go to grab it, you don't really feel the clumps to me. It feels very fluid, very nice. I like the hand feeling. I like the amount of fill in there. You know, it's got, you've got some, you've got a little bit of flop, but it's a pretty full back, right? It's really got a lot of, a lot of fullness. You can see the flop there. There you go. You got some flop. You're just getting it right. But, you know, it's, it's a fairly full bag, which, which to me makes it great for more of a dirty style game. I like the fullness of the bag. Uh, I mean, we'll go ahead and jump into playability on this while I'm at it. And this is a bag that, again, I talk about time and time again, these five speed materials, especially this carpet is very versatile, right? You can, you can, you can run bags in the hole with it. And this material is very whole friendly. I, I love this material. Uh, um, it's, it's one of my favorite five speed materials because it is it, it it's very hole friendly. It doesn't hang on the hole very much. You add this bead fill, this bag just drips in the hole. Like I, I I was that's one of the things that blew me away when I started throwing this bag was how easy it was to put in the hole. You get it up near the hole and it dripped in. For being a fuller bag, it seemed to do a pretty good job of grabbing the hole. Now I will say. The, the B fill does give it some bounce, and there were some times where I had bags up there that maybe I landed a little close to the hole, and they would hit and bounce over the hole, skip over the hole, be a careful of that. Or if I tried to go for a push or collect, the, the bag would hit and kind of bounce over, so you had to be a little more conscious of, of landing the bag either right behind this the bag to collect it or landing a little further back, letting it hit, kind of bounce, settle, and push through. A little things you got to be aware of with, with the B fill, but I think the trade-off of the hole friendliness is well worth it and it's something that you know as long as you know it's there you can definitely play with it i don't consider that balance a negative thing uh the material here in fact the negatives here, here's the negatives on the bag right this material has a little bit of kick to it and when you add that bead fill you get that balance so if you're throwing with the tilt a little bit the bag is going to hit and want to kick on you a little bit left or right it's a controllable kick it's, it's a very consistent kick so if you have the same tilt on it in the same way 
you can play the kick, you know, you can lean a little bit to the right of the hole, a little bit to the left hole, whichever direction it's going to kick, and you can play it and put the bag in all the time. Uh, again, the bag has some bounce to it, so if you're trying to collect, be careful that you're not bouncing over your bags, but that could also be a positive in the sense that you're trying to get around your opponent's bag. You can hop over the corner of their bag and put your bag in and, and leave their bags there, so you get it, you kind of, it's a, it's, it's a positive and a negative at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, I consider it a positive. I like having that bounce. I like having that activity because I'm not a roll bag thrower at all, and I mentioned that time again. I just, I just, the roll bag just doesn't, it's not something I've ever really figured out exactly right, but when you get a bag like this, it has some movement to it. I, I don't have to roll, right? If you're a block are up there i throw my back and land right behind it and i get that natural bounce of the beads and it'll just skip right over and go right in and i don't i don't have to be crazy with a roll shot and go over it. or i can come in with a cut and land and just cut right around their back no problem whatsoever uh, but this is definitely a bag that you can roll you can flop you can cut it's great for shot shaping i mean you can you can manipulate this bag because of the bead fill because of the, this this controllable carpet on there you can really manipulate this bag and you can make it do a lot of crazy things and that's why i loved it like i, I love putting blockers i love playing a dirty style game more than i do the whole for whole game and so i love putting blockers up there and then getting creative how i can get around it or if i'm playing against an opponent who ha who plays a sticky style bag or a dirty style game they put blockers up great bag because i could just get around their bag get around the bag and leave it there and make them collect it right so if they throw a blocker on my side i can just you know cut around it cut around it i can i can hop over the corner i can do all kinds of things i need to do you know again you can roll you can flop over it leave the bag there and make them collect it and 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 because these bags are so whole freely if you can just get over it and get the the bag started in the hole it's probably going to fall in even if it hangs there for a moment the the vibration of the next bag coming in gets those beads moving and they'll just cascade and drip right in the hole this is definitely not a bag that's going to hang very often for you I, you know as long as it wasn't my last bag I, if i could get that bag started in the hole it was going to go in by the time i threw my next bag or two bags later so it's definitely a very hole friendly bag it's what i loved about when you get a five speed controllable material that is that still wants to drip in the hole that's that's a positive absolutely love that love the shot shaping on it i love what you can do with it it's very collectible as i mentioned it's a fuller bag so you get a bag up there to collect it you're just clipping a corner taking it in it's not going to accordion up so you, you don't have to you don't have to get really aggressive to come after the bag which means you can put your bag more aggressively on your opponent's side for the block or really block them up and then come with your third or fourth bag down the middle and just come right down the middle collect it take them both in uh, this fast side is plenty fast enough to push through your blockers. To, I mean, you can push through multiple bags. I haven't get, throw crazy hard. So I actually love the fast side on this bag. I don't know how this fast side is going to play in humidity. I haven't thrown in humidity yet. I know this slow side plays pretty well in humidity. I don't know um, until I throw it. I, I'm sure it's going to slow down. It may be a case where this bag becomes, the slow side becomes the fast fast because I don't know. So I don't want to speculate on humidity on this yet. If, if I get to a time where it is humid, I play it and I find out, I'll let you guys know more. But that be, that'll become a little later in the year as, as the weather changes and get more humid around this area. Uh, availability on this, Name Brand Bag Company has a website, namebrandbagco.com, link in the description. You can go check that out. The bags are all on their website, pretty readily available right now. I looked through there and it's like they have a quite a good variety, quite a selection of bags, and they're pretty readily available. These were seventy nine ninety five, I think it was just under eighty bucks. And if I remember right, the shipping was like six ish dollars. I feel like it was like eighty six, eighty seven dollars I paid. Have these shipped to me? Very reasonable price for an ACL stamp bag. Um, I, I had no issues with. It. I think the bag's well worth it. Like I said, I, I regret not reviewing this bag sooner um i just for whatever reason I, I i kind of overlooked it as i was doing other reviews other reviews it just kind of sat there sat there sat there and when i finally got to it i throw them i was like man these bags are better than I thought. And so I, 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 I urge you, if you have an opportunity to throw us at these name brand, these big Jack 2 pointers by Name Brand Bag Company, give them a shot. I think you're going to love them. If you've thrown them, drop a comment down below. Let me know what your opinion, what you think of them. Uh, let me know about some of their other bags. I, I have a set of Merlins of theirs I want to review coming down the road, but I, you know, I, I don't have any of the other bags. So I'm, I'm curious to see if their other bags are just as good as this one. Anyway, check out Name Brand Bag Company for the big Jack 2.0. I think you're going to love them as much as I did. I thank you guys so much for support, and I thank you for watching.